today we are looking at the Flora Linux library 23. So here is the boot menu of uh, Flora Linux. So everything looks uh, like a MX Linux. So the boot menu completely looks like a MX Linux. There is nothing change in here. So when you type in F1 or click on the F1, you get the help. For the F2, you get the languages. For the F3, you get the location or the time zone. I'm going to change it to Los Angeles. And uh, for the F4, here is the options. For the F5, it's uh, persist. And uh, F6 for fail safe. Let's click on escape. And for the F7, here is the console. So I'm running it on a virtual machine. So let's uh, quickly boot it in a live boot. So I'm running it on a virtual machine, which is uh, VMware with 80 GB of hard disk and uh, 8 GB of RAM. And my CPU is i5-1240p. So let's wait until the desktop loads and uh, let's let me tell you that uh, how much of uh, time it takes. Usually it takes like a, a few three to four minutes of every Linux distro. But let's see how much of uh, time it takes. And I'm going to mention the time until it takes uh, or the it launches the desktop layout. So here is the desktop layout. It took like maybe two or three minutes. That's it. It was pretty much uh, quick. So let's open about mate. The mat desktop environment is uh, 1.26.0. So let's try to open some of the system tools. Let's first change the display settings. So my resolution is 1920 into 1080. Here is the resolution and the refresh rate is uh, 60 Hertz. Keep this configuration. Let's close it. Let's find the system monitor or a task manager here is the mat system monitor so here it is mx1 debian new linux debian 12 bookworm and the kernel version you get is 6.6.11 uh, and the desktop environment already mentioned and this is my hardware of a uh, cpu and memory i already mentioned that let's see the about section here is the version of about and here is the process running in the beginning of the or when we launched the Linux distro. So these are all the process running right now. As you can see. So let's go to the resources. I didn't open any of the applications or anything like that. I just uh, set my display. Uh, that's it. I didn't change anything in there. So this is the base CPU and base uh, RAM or the system base system resources base uh, when we started this Linux distro. On the RAM side, it's pretty much uh, looks lightweight, mad desktop environment. So it's uh, pretty much uh, light here. Usually it should be like uh, maybe 1100 or uh, 1 1.1 GB or 1 1.2 GB like that. But uh, in this case, it's almost uh, 700 MB, which is pretty good uh, by seeing the RAM. Here is a CPU. CPU was a bit of high peak for like a 20 30 seconds maybe but right now it's going pretty much stable as you can see this is a 0 seconds and this is a 60 seconds it's almost a minute just a few seconds and uh, you are getting a stable graph which is almost under 20 percent that's pretty good right now so here is the file system let me put it to the uh, resources and uh, put the system monitor in the right side corner so you can see all the changes throughout the video so let's uh, let's see what it is so let's open the internet browser which is a uh, firefox and let's go to the official website or i'm going to show you the downloading process and all those things so Firefox is the default browser or uh, almost every Linux distro has the Firefox default uh, browser. Almost like a 70 to 80 percent of uh, every Linux distro will have uh, Firefox. Some will have like uh, maybe Tor browser. Sometimes it will be Microsoft Edge or like a Falcon. Sometimes even Brave. Sometimes even Chromium like that. So here is the version of a Firefox web browser. So let me type in about support first uh, before going to website. Hit enter. So here is the complete information of the name of the uh, browser, version, 
build ID and the user agent and the kernel operating system theme and all the important things uh, you can just pause the video and read everything on your own because if i read everything it's going to take a lot of time it's going to make a video uh, so lengthy so you can't uh, watch that much of uh, uh, it always makes like uh, 30 minutes of video without uh, uh, just uh, taking all the uh, important things but if i go through all those things it's going to make uh, almost a three to four hours video so no one going to watch that much of uh, time so i'm going to keep it like a 30 second 30 minutes i'm going to cover everything in that so if you want any information you can just pause the video let's go to the official website right now flora linux i'm using the vpn so that's the reason it's uh, showing some random language here i don't know what language it is so source forge I downloaded it from the search for website. So let's go to the files. So this is not the uh, Flora Linux. Let me see. Let's keep it like that. Let's type in Flora. Let's type in Linux. This is the Flora Linux library. So there is a difference between the Flora Linux and uh, Flora Linux uh, library. So you need to type in like that or else you should be going to the uh, first Flora Linux. So this is the uh, actual uh, thing which I'm using right now. Or you can just uh, type in this URL or you can just type in Flora Linux library in the uh, SourceForge search engine or uh, search bar here. So this distribution is based on MX Linux 23 and uh, debian 12 which runs a uh, linux library kernel it consists of three components only linux library kernel basic uh, mx tools mad desktop environment installable live usb image and uh, based on debian and mx and uh, no non-free applications so these are all the things you get let's see whether they have a website or something like that they don't have a website uh, it is the uh, if, in order to download you need to just go to the source force and type in like that and you should see an icon like this uh, which is a penguin and i downloaded the uh, fixed version they released the older version here so i downloaded the fixed version so let's click on that thing and uh, you should be getting an iso file which is around like a 1.4 gb and here are seven seven downloads and which is one is one is mine so this distribution here is some of the information and uh, user demo demo password demo and root password root so just read everything here and uh, go to downloads so if you want to try it you can try it on your virtual box virtual machine vmware all those things uh, if you want to try it or if you want to install it it's clearly up to you i'm not going to uh, recommend or anything like that because it's my first video or a, a first video on the flora linux library because i don't know anything about this so it's clearly up to you to judge whether to use this linux distro or not so right now keep an eye on the cpu and ram so i think we got everything here let me show you the downloading also so i downloaded the 1.4 gb file size so let's click on the download it should take like a five seconds and it should start let's wait so here is the iso file the version should be 2024 and dash 946 so this is the iso file so we got everything in the browser so let me close that uh, let's open the here are some of the things you can see here so let me open the terminal let's go to system tools let's find the terminal mat terminal so let's type in some of the commands to get uh, a bit of uh, distro information i hope the inxi is pre-installed let's type in inxi-sv8 so this is the command which will grab complete distro information in just a single command so let's try to change the preference of a profile color built-in schemes let's see the linux console let's see black and white 
or white on black so i hope you are seeing it properly let's see another thing again let me go back to the right now you can see properly so let's uh, see all the information so here is the complete information i'm not going to read it i already mentioned that because it's going to make a lengthy video so here is the system information here is the machine information here is the ram information and uh, this is the cpu all the complete cpu information here is the vulnerabilities here is the graphics monitor screen display all those things you can just pause the video and read everything and uh, here is the audio information like a pulse audio elsa all those things here is the network uh, bluetooth drives partitions all those things here is the usb here are the repos and here is the process memory info all those things so we got all the information in just single command let me show you another alternative commands cat forward slash etc forward slash issue here is the so let me change the color so you can properly see i can't even see the color so i don't know whether you are seeing or not let me change it to maybe white and black right now you can see so here is the information so let me type in uh, neofetch neofetch command not found has stop command not found so let me type in inxi hit enter inxi dash small b inxi dash capital g inxi dash capital f so we got all the information from the uh, terminal or the command so let's uh, close the terminal let's open the file manager let's check the about saja 1.26.1 browse networks here is the file system you know how to check all the folders uh, if you want to check on the folders or if you want to do anything you can go check there so you already know how to uh, uh, change or modify all those things so here is the file management preference you can customize whatever you want here so let's close this because you already know so i'm not going to waste the time there so here are let's see the pre-installed applications which you get from the flora linux library so here is some of the applications uh, which are two from the uh, text editor or text uh, uh, tools so there is a calculator font viewer search tool on the graphics you get a simple things on the internet you get a firefox mx tools here are some of the mx tools like a packages package installer nvidia driver installer on the office you get a atrial document viewer mad dictionary genie on the programming and the sound and video you get a vlc media player audacious so i think pretty much everything is here so on the desktop features you get the same date and time volume on the system preference hardware so again these are all the same things internet look and feel let's check some of the appearance so you get all this type of themes and uh, let's check the backgrounds you get this backgrounds here is some of the changes or customization here are the fonts here are the interface so what else control center light dm gtk plus greeter so let's type in the password which was demo here are some of the customization advaita so here are all the themes so let's close it print settings snaptic package manager let me type in password demo
so here are the packages so the installed version will be on the left side the latest version will be like this side let me scroll it down like this so in order to see everything in a slow-mo you can just change the playback settings in a youtube the default value will be like a 1.0 you can change it to 0.25 and you should be seeing everything in a slow-mo so let's check the version of the Snaptic package manager which is 0.91.3 let's even close this thing here is the print settings here is the PDF display let's see the keyboard here are some of the keyboard options you can change like a mouse keys typing break keyboard shortcuts here are the keyboard shortcuts you can even add here here is the mouse you can customize according to your wish power management you can change this according to your wish sound let's close the sound time date and uh, time and date manager network proxy let's even close this thing I already showed the appearance let's see the main menu here is the main menu matrix you can change here so these are all some of the customization you can do that on your own pop-up notifications screen saver let's close this uh, system keyboard let's type in DEMO Windows so these are all the some of the things let's see the startup applications you can add the applications here you can remove show hidden so i think we pretty much covered everything i guess preferred applications so if i forgot anything do let me know in the comment section i showed i showed everything so let's uh, there is nothing even to see in the applications you get some basic applications let me show you the some of the basic applications and end the video because it's almost everything uh, shown in the video so if I forgot anything, do let me know in the comment section. I don't think I forgot anything, but uh, if you know anything, do let me know in the comment section. So let's open some of the applications here on the internet. We already opened all those things. So we got bunch of applications. So the system resources is like this. Let's check the version and end the video. Pluma 1.26.0. Leafpad, here is the version. Atrial Document Weaver, here is the version. So let me close it. So almost, uh, it's almost like a 30 minutes of a video. I didn't get uh, any lag or anything like that. Everything is working smoothly. There is no crash or any freeze in the uh, screen. So let me type in password, which is D E M O. Last pant unhandled exception okay let's check the version 7.2.2 here is the version let's close it here is the package installer so let's check the vlc media player version here is the version of a vlc media player so it's almost uh, 30 minutes of a video everything was working smoothly there is no lag any crash or anything like that in order to install any of these things you can just uh, check this button and you can install it so here is the about so if you want to test it you can test it on your own whether it's a uh, virtual disk or a live boot you can do that but if you want to install it, it's clearly up to you uh, it's clearly up to you i'm not going to recommend or anything do like that because uh, there is no much of information about this uh, linux distro so that's the reason maybe uh, but if you want to try it or if you are a distro hopper you can do that uh, it's clearly up to you i don't have any problem with that 
so these are all the things uh, you can just go to the uh, folder and click on that and uh, you can just install that so enabled repos mx test repos debian backports flat packs all those things so it's going to download package so i think that's the end of the video i guess almost i covered everything i'll end this video so i'll be posting two videos daily without missing any day so if you want to consider subscribing you can subscribe or else you can just watch my video and uh, check other channels i don't have any problem with that so let's close this thing and end the video here let's go to system let's see the logout screen and uh, end the video there logout logout anyway so i already posted another video so if you want to uh, watch that video you can watch that video so here is the logout screen so the password i already shown in the beginning of the video so i'll end the video here again thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit the thumbs up button it helps make a good content for you i other than that i'll see you in tomorrow's video peace out